your mainline game too. But that's just me, oh, though. That's just know. me. That's just me. Largest side tournament. Yeah, largest know. side. Not, tournament. not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. Maybe tie some with some other mainline game, but hey, you know, who knows? Who knows? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. <laughs> you know, Zavali. I'm Fingers watching, crossed. Bro. But uh, yeah, we got uh, players here today. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. How you feeling about today so far, though? Feeling pretty good so far. Um, didn't make it as far as I'd like in the bracket, but both these players play some real, real nice characters. Um, we have Hazma and Susano. Uh, Hazma definitely much more mobile than Susano, who's got that slower initial dash. Uh, but once he starts, well, once he starts moving, once he starts rolling, it's like a snowball, man. You can't stop it. A snowball will turn into an avalanche, and just oh, yeah. like that. We, we don't know what's going to go on, but here we go. First match of top eight, soulless movement. Love this stage. Love that nail. Love this intro. Let's get it. <laughs> Woo! All right. So jumping right into it, uh, we have... Uh, Susano putting out that really, really uh, tough pressure. A lot of press flames, a lot of overheads, a lot of lows. Uh, trying to unlock those seals at the bottom left, which give him access to very, very strong special moves. Yep. We, have de uh, we have DPs, we have command grabs, uh, we have all sorts of things. But Hasuma going into overdrive, trying to get something started, but keeping in that corner for now. Oh, but to no avail. Here we go. He's out, and he's moving. He's moving and grooving. There we go. Nice job, combo, but an early burst. I'm not sure how to feel about that from uh, Nintendo, but hey, he, uh, Susano does have a lot of health to play with, so let's see what he rocks. Susano getting in the corner now. You definitely want to stay on top of him as much Don't as possible. Super, oh, that crosses punish. up. Nice combo. Ooh, nice little extension Extend. there. The mark of a true, truly good awesome player. Oh! oh! Ten push-ups right now on stage. Come on, bro. Purple grab. And that... Oh. oh, not yet. Trying to get a little cheeky. Nice OD. That's going to be down to round one. Amazing start. Woo! Definitely in the Susano matchup, you want to stay on top of him as much as possible. Keep those, sales, uh, those seals from getting unlocked. Yep. Keep him from being able to access that really, really strong offense. Um, but Hazuma, if he pushes a little bit too hard, he'll leave himself a little bit open, losing out on a lot of that very strong mobility. And don't, don't forget, Hazuma, as of CF, has lost a truly invulnerable reversal. I think the only invulnerable reversal he has is OD, which is off the table for Fruits on Criminal right now. That's true. He's going to need to work to get that burst back, but it's going to be coming back soon. Nine takes a burst. Locked into the no. Can't touch the throw. You're not going to spend it. Yep. Going in around three. No hero burst today. Mm -mm. All right. We're going into round three. Both players have their burst. Ooh, counter hit chain. And into the crouching confirm, too. Nice interrupt. Oki time. Early Into OD. the overdrive. Ooh, Uno gets hit by the 5C, but to no avail. Oh, ah, that, that reverse hit. I hate that 2C so much, man. It, it is the bane of many, many games, but in that corner, keeping that pressure on, getting that good hit, but not being able to convert off too much. Speaking of conversions, look at that. Three seals into go. Never mind, four. Oh, oh. over. Corner to corner, other side, but reset. a little bit spaced out. Uh oh, big whip on the chain. Another Grand Viper confirmed for Tutano here. My dude said, I like the other corner better. Yep. Welcome back. Oop, oop, 6B, plus frame, out the two. Oh no. All right, burst on the crush trigger. He's gonna come back. He's gonna block the JB. Really, really long JB. Out of stock chains. For those who don't know, Hodma's a stocks um, right there on his chain, which he can slingshot from. But if he has none, he's got to stay on the gr ground for about three seconds or so. But when he's on the ground, he can do something That's like it. this. And Astro to end the first match of top eight. Can we make some noise? Yo! Talk about a commanding way to end that first game. That's Good really, Lord. really something. Woo All righty. Oh, man. Proof on criminal living up to his name, committing crimes on stage. My God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but jumping right back into it with game two here. Yep. No change. Same to stage. No same th intro. Yep. Round start okay. 5B from Susano. Trying to keep things simple. That is a really good poke. A bit slower than most 5Bs in the game, but the reward off of it is massive. 
And man, it's really, really long too. Yep. Tries to catch the roll with the. Oh, forgot the name of it. Oh! Ooh. In the corner, getting access to those heals. When Susano is in overdrive, he has access to all of his uh, special moves without needing to unlock them first and foremost. So he gets access to his really, really strong offense, his really, really strong mix ups. And he is just keeping him in that yeah. corner. This is the stone ball I was talking about, which slowly turns into an avalanche. Five steals unlocked. Got to use counter assault to get off. Return back to neutral. Oh, but getting that hit, can he can get that to convert into anything? No, he can't. Round one goes into tender. Definitely striking back ab after that uh, after that astral. Completely unfazed. That's what you like to see. You could not let your mental get to you. You're in top eight, son. You're on the big stage. Don't let it get to you. Here for a reason. Yep. If you don't there want that spot, is. I'll oh, take it. Oh, the whiff. Uh -oh. That's going to cost Crouton Criminal a lot. Uh, Plus frames into overdrive activation, oh, but no it doesn't fear. matter. He just grabs him. Oh, my God. OT Dimer completely wasted. Another oh. grab. Oh. Right, this dude is playing. Capital strike, capital throw. Ah. Oh. You tried to say another one. Here we go, J.A. Oh, reset. Oh. My turn, says yep, Crouton sir. Criminal. Going right into it, getting that big combo, getting himself back on that board. Uh, oh, the DP bait. High five, where you at? Put down on your Twitter. And with Overdrive back, he can still definitely uh, get this moving. Both Try players buying the position. And oh, that's it. Is that going to be it? Ah, uh, if he gets a meter, he might be able to kill. 50, here we go. Say goodbye to your health bar. And there it goes with... Oh, man. That is 5.6k. That is a chunk of damage. And that's not even the true numbers. Hajima's poison damage is unmarked and oh, unscaled. That's that could true, have been that's 6k. True. Ooh, that confirmed was spicy, y'all. That was wild. But not being able to end it in the, uh, in, in the uh, air to ground. Out of stocks and now in the corner. Bad spot for Hajima here. There's no being able to get a few of the seals. Uh, but with that grab, he's got to chase on Hazuma now. Oh, nice air to air. Shutting down the airspace. Putting this dude on the no-fly list. Oh, keeps yep, him in that corner reset. with the air throw. Nice combo. Keep it simple. Beautiful. Oh, trying to get a little bit too complex there. Nice block, though. IVs. Very, very nice IVs. See, the very, the very powerful part about IV in this game is that even if uh, you can't create a gap during someone's blockchain, you are winning the meter war. You need to get twice the amount of meter as the attacker when you IV. So you got to hit the A-frame windows, my guy. Nice. Oh, big punish, and that is going to seal the game. Nope. Wait for first on the table. Nope, burst save combo. Beautiful. And that's it. Yep. All right. There we go. First match of top eight done. One snake down, another advances. Definitely some really, really solid play from both players. Both Nintendo and Crouton Criminal really showed uh, what their characters can do. Yeah, right. Both with the uh, ability to really, really snowball with uh, with Susano, but that crazy movement and insane mix-ups coming from Hazuma. Yeah. All right, all right. That was something else, though. That was something else. Especially that last OD. Like, man... I, I'm going to keep it real with you. I can never react to Crush Trigger. Even when, even, oh, man. I will be holding Barry the entire block chain. I see the Crush Trigger. Nah, I'm going to let it go. Let it, let oh, it no go. big deal. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to know. What, what can he do, you know? That DP bait, though. That DP bait, though, was That DP crazy. bait, that was something else. Oh, my else. God. Oh, Good man. Good Lord Almighty. It was, it was definitely something else sitting there and watching that happen. Mm -hmm. Ain't that crazy. Ain't that Which crazy. is why you, at home should come out to CEO or any other Blaze Blue event. That's true. That's Support true. the scene. Play the game. It's great. Uh, we got Chigzama running uh, Blaze Blue at uh, EVO this year, right? Oh, I yeah. think so, yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, I'm so glad uh, CF still has a presence no matter where, you know. I think this game, like, deserves it. No matter if State Blaze Blue is in, no matter if State Arc is in, this game is here to stay in stores, players. I mean, when I was running this, we got 50 players or something. I, pretty much out of nowhere. Y'all just spawned in, man. Y'all just spawned in. I mean, for real. But I'm glad y'all are here, and I'm glad, you know, we can play. See some good Blaze Loop. Uh, Blaze Loop Top 8 never disappoints, and I'm sure this will follow suit. All right, so it looks like we're coming up to our 
the next set of competitors right now. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, we got Hugo's or Nick. I uh, I personally fought Hugo's. Knocked me out of losers. Uh, tie me for 13th. I'm, uh, it's a simple but effective Azure and really commanding. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it real with you. I, I can say I was playing dumb, but I think I was just playing scared because, you know, this man is just walking on you. Got the teleport dash, you know. Got that, you know, plus frame, full screen lariat. Exactly, man. Got those crazy, crazy combos. Exactly. Send you from one corner all the way to the other. But then also at the, the same too? time. Good yeah. Lord. Uh, we have Nick, on the other hand, very, very solid uh, uh, Jin player. Definitely knocked me out of a, a good few brackets. He's yeah. very, very solid player. We really got order versus chaos for this matchup. That's true. <laughs> Oh man, but I'm I'm definitely looking forward to see how uh, both players uh, play the matchup, how they're able to, uh, I guess, maintain, keep uh, yeah. advantage. I think the big thing here is like Jin, uh, a really good character, really good in all phases of the game, but against uh, Azure's overwhelming offense, how can he answer? And more importantly, because Jin is such like a standard character, how will Nick himself answer? That's the big thing. You know? He's going to have to go on uh, a lot on that uh, that really nice restand mix. Yeah, a lot of restand mix. And, you know, Jin has, like, what, three DPs? Of course, you only really want to oh, yeah. use one, but, hey, if you, if you have the 50 meter and you got a good read, you can cause it's on the table. Oh, yeah. Just send him to the Shadow Realm completely. Yep. But it's like we're going to be getting into it yeah. in a little bit. Waiting uh, on a button check, perhaps? Stage hands, you know. I'm gonna do your thing. Yo, shout out to Stage Shout out to production, man. Oh, definitely. Oh, my God. I every see the work y'all be putting in everywhere, anytime. Like, dude, I, I could never. <laughs> every year I've come to this event, it's just gotten more and more crazy. Mm -hmm. So just thank you so much to everyone involved behind the scenes. Yep. You guys don't get enough credit. Exactly, man. Exactly. All right. So for... Those of you at home, Azrael has some of the highest uh, meterless damage in the game. That's true, that's letting true. him hold on to that meter for those special circumstances, maybe keeping himself safe, getting yeah. those uh, surprise plus frames. Um, whereas uh, Jin's a lot more meter heavy, yeah. uh, having to do a lot more of those uh, EX moves to yeah, only keep his combos in the game going. Can really do, I guess, Blade of Rivers EX moves, where uh, if he does a special move plus his drive button. He can basically uh, do an EX move where it has enhanced properties, i.e. freezing or having better combo potential. Yeah. Which we will see on full display in this match. However, Azrael's drive gimmick is um, he has some of the best meaningless damage in the game. However, it's locked behind weak points. He has to first apply the weak point, then uh, let's just say, you know, reapply it uh, through a combo. And that's how you see those big Twitter clip combos, man. Oh, man. Turns you into Superman. You start flying. Let's see what we got. Immediate goose off to start things off. Here comes the pressure. Block the low. Try to jump out of pressure, but gets clipped. Ugh, there's a 5D. Respecting those plus frames. Trying to sort of fight his way out of the corner. But getting hit with a big combo for his troubles. Into uh -oh. a reset. Ten push-ups, y'all. Come on. Just locked in his corner trying to escape. Cross up throw. That's death. Hero burst in sight. Nah, just hold it, man. Just hold it. Very, very commanding game from uh, you guys. Yep. That's what I'm saying, man. His Azrael is not moving as fast as like other Azrael you may see online or in other brackets, but he's got the fundies. He's got the pressure. He's got the, oh, he's got the demanding presence, man. Oh, that teleport dash really stuffing that uh, that Oki. Uh -oh. oh, but Oki's a big punish on that Oh, grab nice attack. light switch, yo. There you go. Try really nice combos into the attempted reset. But Hugo's fighting his way out of the corner. With DP, but to no avail. No punish on that. Can't let him get with that. That could have been death right there. Oh, but that's a really good poke. Forced him to use his burst. Nice punish. Ooh, I've never seen that round before. A little bit shaky, but hey, it got the kill. Round secured. Let's go into the third round. Both players without their burst, but Nick's going to be getting that back in just a little bit. Uh, if he can slip into active flow, definitely he'll be getting that back a lot faster. Oh, going for the air grab attempt there. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is there. I'm on him cook. He's in top eight for a reason, not me. That's true. Got the ice car. Interrupting the dash. I like that idea, but it's a little committal, so I'd recommend Both. using 2B to check the dash instead. Both nice overhead. Are... Can combo off it because a counter hit. Yeah, we got those, baby. Both players are really, really respecting each other now. 
Oh, nah, you, you say respect? Said nah, we out here on the Square Bunch Society, bro. They heard me. They heard me. But going into that DP, getting that little bit of damage off it, and that counter hit, yeah, bringing him right into that corner. He's got one last chance. Will he get the burst back in time? Whoa, that was definitely a DP. Come oh, on. Both players getting their burst back at the same time, but Nick using it to just get off. Yep. Go for the aerial. Buster. Azure was just chasing him down, though. Applying nice. Mad oh, oh, the oh. short range. Nice and air grab. Air that grab. could be death. Boop. Bop. 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 Hey. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, the God. grab Come reset. Come on, man. My Ain't no reason to do him like that. Walked up slowly, and he said, "Will you shake my hand?" Yeah. Let me let me show you my loving arms. Okay. <laughs> Take me into your loving arms. Just like we're being oh taken my into goodness! The next match, come on, y'all. Jumping right back into it. Nice IB on a 60, but crouch confirmed. Beautiful. Those side switches that Azrael are able to throw out are really, really nice. Godlike confirm on that anti air 2A. Wow. Really, yeah. Nick going for a lot of resets, but not too many working out. Let's see if he can get that offense really, really moving. But 20 push ups. 20 push ups. Come on. Bah, bah. Big damage. Oh, but I, the, I respect the, the DP DPMC. There. However, high weak point is a fight on a fresh. Oh, baiting the baiting, baiting the button. Nice catching the back dash. For any Guilty Gear fans in the chat, you can uh, you can uh, see uh, Azure's back dash. Same same as Slayers. Of course, you can't back dash cancel and stuff, but it still has the same amount of info. I think almost like frame data wise, they are the same. Ugh, that is not that quite hurt. going to kill yet. Oh, oh. nice anti air five B. Wow. Yeah, that counter hit's definitely going to seal out that game. But Nick going into round two with his burst, going to be able to do a lot of extra damage, going to be able to get out of a lot of situations. But oh that DP God, no is just going fear. to shred that oh time. There oh, we reset. go, oh. into the corner. Uh, uh, uh. Gonna just have to do uh. himself, reapplies high weak point, tries to go for low. Oh my God, he's wilding out right now. IAD air throw, what is this? Ooh, ah, ooh. He said air throw and I got scared, he jumped at him. <laughs> That should be it if he finishes this. No. Falls ah. out, and that is it. Yep, there we go. Jugo. A commanding 2-0. Mm -hmm. Good job to Jugo's here. Commanding. Dude, even, even he himself has a command. But look at Stone Cold's killer face. He's like, like bro. I've done what I had to do. When I fought, when I fought him, I just thought he was mad at me. I, I just I just pulled up. <laughs> like, man, what did I do? Like, bro, I'm just a humble Ragnar player. Like, you're a local mid-level player. Like, what I do? <laughs> I do to you. Oh man, but we really, really got to see how much damage that Azrael can put out in that in yeah. that set right there. Just the the really, really insane damage. A little wave to the camera. I'm waving back. Good what? job, Jugos. Good job, Nick too. Come on, clap it up for top eight, y'all. Pretty sure that's loser side done now. Maybe we're moving on to winners. Not too sure how this is working out, but I'm so I'm I'm feeling good about the matches we got so far. Feeling pretty good. Oh, I think next we have a match between. DGF. Oh, and yeah. And who else we got? Oh, DGF and Barzad. All uh, right. I've been looking forward to commentating this match. I uh, still have I. I. I definitely, Teremi is definitely the character that I know the best, and I'm looking forward to being able to share as much as I can uh, with those of you uh, watching both here and at home. Mm -hmm. Um, Wait, ain't that crazy? Because I'm a Ragna player, and you know we got Tammy versus Ragna. That's true. Cannon matchup, can <laughs> cannon commentators. Let's get it, man. <laughs> Let's get that in uh, that uh, that intro though. Yeah, man. that intro though. So uh, since since we both play these characters, and I, and I know like since you know we're not a top eight, these guys are better yeah. characters than us. What's your opinion on a matchup so far? I feel like we both give some good input uh, just on you know player level and for, for the crowd at home, back at home. I think both characters really have potential to blow each other up. Um, Teremi struggles with like some longer ranged buttons, uh, so that 5B round start from Ragna yeah. is definitely a little bit rough because I don't think there's too many options that Teremi can do to directly contest that. That um, is true. He has uh, one thing, uh, and uh, I have a Teremi playing friend. He's been hitting me with this for like four years now. 4D at round start actually has, I think it's enough of a disjoint to actually clip 5B around start and get you a combo. That's really something so that's else. So that's a good interaction you need to know if you're a Terry player, if you want to take advantage of a uh, Ragnar player you just kind of mindlessly press 5B around start. Grab it even works extra uh, knowledge there. there. Uh, but it ain't no way GGF's playing Ragnar. Ain't no way, right? 
Rebellions, I'm not liking the look of this, yo. Please don't be this a button check. Come on. He was like, he was like, cannon matchup. I'll show you. I mean, hell, with Blaze Blue's timeline, this could be a cannon matchup. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, probably. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, button check. All right, we're saved, y'all. We're going to get back to the main story. Just, just a little side quest for now. <laughs> yeah. But Terami, definitely uh, a character who's really, really able to run his offense once he starts hitting you. Yeah. Uh, has insane meter gain and is able to dump all of that into different mix-ups, yeah. into defensive options, into supers. Uh, that's just so nice. But one of the best options is being able to RC pretty much much more frequently than everyone yeah, else. True. There are Termi combos that use 200% meter. Oh, yeah. Those are great. And what I find funny uh, funny about this matchup is that these two drives, they work on such, like, inverses. Termi steals meter while Ranga steals life, right? Oh, yeah. So while Termi's more offense-oriented, it helps with that uh, kind of drive, you know, being more so screwed to meter. Because if you know anything about, like, Arxis game, meter is your lifeblood, especially on oh, offense. Yeah. But here's the thing with Ragnar, right? While he still has good offense, it's very standard. He wins a lot more in neutral, from at least from what I played and watching, you know, other high-level Ragnars. Has those so, really nice buttons. Because of that, he has a really consistent damage, really consistent pokes, really consistent neutral. And all the while, he's healing up little by little. Yeah, just... Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, 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 and the magic oh. All right. Yeah. Here we go. First out of winners, top eight. Starting with a cannon match. We might be looking at the end of Blazeman right now. Can we make some noise, y'all? Can we make some noise? That's what I like to see. Jabalian's getting lit right now. Let's go. Both oh, players respecting, oh, but that counter hit going right oh. into a punish. Uh, he's going to knock him up into an air combo and knock right back down. That's a nice 3,000 damage to start. Uh, but Rogan being able to fight his way out of the corner a little bit. Uh, DGF has that 50 meter that he's going to spend right there. There you go. It's just like you mentioned, he can RC a lot more freely, whether it be uh, on offense or during combos, you know? It definitely helps because that uh, that three-hit move that he did right there is 60, yep. pretty, pretty minus. Three, uh, 60, yeah. Oh, but the anti-air. All right, nice, simple string. Just going to reset back to control. Kind of where Ragnar wants Terami sometimes. But DGF with amazing movement and using the speed of Terami especially. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Really, really fast ground speed. Nice. Really fast air dash. What a cross-up, man. I got hit. I got hit. Chat. I mean, I said chat. <laughs> Crowd, raise your hand if you got hit. All right. Both players really respecting each other on round start. Yeah. These two know the interaction, so I bet they're both hesitant to kind of press their button just in case they're like, either looking for a weapon. Oh, but the good no, counter up. hit. Looking good for Wagner so far. With OD gone, too, it's not like he can make a big lively comeback. Trying nice to jump cancel. get him to press a button on that uh, on that move right there, resetting with the little knee yep. kick there. And here's the pressure we're talking about from Teremi. With his speed and his normals, you know, he can really just stagger right in front of your face, kind of goading oh, yeah. and pressing a button. Lots of plus frames that uh, that 2A is zero on block, so he's able to tick grab really, really efficiently. Indeed. Bars are finding a way out the corner. Ooh. Oh, not being able to convert off that counter hit, though. Going right back into the pressure. And OD, into yeah, the disengage OD. from TGM. Oh, oh, amazing ODR right back. Masanga, baby. Here uh, we go. Uh, that uh, should be it with uh, the loop. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, ah, keep it ah, stylish, baby. I gotcha. Uh, 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 Give me that meter. Uh, uh, Look at your meter, bro. Uh, uh. Ah. Star of the show, number one speed. TGF showing why he's here. Supporting the scene and taking names while he's at it. Creating Terramy believers around the world. Yep. All right, how is Barzard going to answer? I think what I want to see more of Barzard doing, kind of like using movement to kind of push Terramy into like his boxable zone. Like, yeah. if Tipper 5B range, Tipper uh, 5C range, even like JC range, that's where you kind of want to keep Terramy. Or else going to weasel his way out and have you end up blocking. Yeah, because a lot of those best buttons of his are a lot of those close range buttons. Yep. Like that 5B being plus, uh, he needs to get pretty close to use that 5C as well. Um, and a lot of his other buttons have pretty large hurt boxes on them. So if he does yeah. whiff, he can get whiff punished pretty easily. And that's where Wagner kind of wants to convert from neutral into offense off a of whiff punish or, or a good poke. Yeah, got those nice knockdowns. But we'll see if we see both players still respecting on round start. Nice IB from DGF, especially IB being the 2C. 2C is plus on block, mm, but it's also good plus mash, on whiff. Oh, oh that mash. counter hit yeah. 5C, those get big combos. Oh, oh it's a confirm. Catching the jump. Ah, gotta block that. Oh, no! Got to push a little too. bit far out. 
Nice matchup of knowledge, awareness from DGF. Be knowing he can crouch underneath the second hit all the Hades, he's got to punish. All right. There you go. Keep him locked down. This is what you oh. want to do as Magna. Oh, what a confirm. I've never seen that before. That was a really, really nice confirm. But going right into it, we're going to see... Oh, no meter used yet. Oh, big whip on the Oki. There you go. Nice and simple combo from Ragnar. He's going to do a lot of damage. I think this hits about 3.9k. Oh, a little bit one. of four. Very Getting good. a good bit of health back, too. Yep. Putting himself just that much more ahead of Terami. Kirby trying to space out with that uh, JD. Both players trying to slowly fight their way in, yeah. respecting each other's offense. Look how DGF just slowly pushing Barzark to the corner. Couldn't quite get the confirm. Oh, oh. the low. Hero first. Ah, actually, not that much of a hero first, actually. He's oh, got 50, the meter 50. to make it happen. He blocked right! For those who don't know in the audience, that's two birds of pure 50-50. Jeremy has two versions of that high or low, and the you don't know what uh, the animation is until it hits you. Yeah. It's definitely a very, very strong part of his offense. A little cheeky, but I guess the job done. That's true, that's true. Jeremy fighting his way in. Ah, the 19 frame overhead. Options. Oh, but that big command grab giving him a good, like, 35 meter or so. Indeed. Pushing him into the corner. Saying, it is my turn. Uh -oh. Why are you grabbing? Can't be raw checking like that in this game. Big combo. And with the meter. Nice. Doesn't go for the crush confirm. Keeps it simple. Just wants to knock down. Finding his way right back out. Oh, a little oh. bit too far, though. Yeah. Got to hit those car grabs when you're Ragna. That was a really nice crash and confirm, though. Oh, nice block. And that's going to be a super goodness. punish. Ragna can't, get, uh, can't quite get the side switch. But, you know, I think just taking damage would be better. But the last drop combo first troubles. Nice oh, whip punish from the DJ. That was really nice, and he is like, you are in the corner oh, now. Oh, no. drop the combo. OD, I'm not sure if this kills. Let's see, chat. Oh my god, I gotta stop saying chat. <laughs> I think I'm saying jam. Will it kill? I think so. Oh, there it is. that Six is K. going to be game number two. All right. Beautiful. Me too, <laughs> Praying to the Lord that one killed. Thank God. All right, jumping right back into it. An intro's rock, no matter the match. Here we go, here we go. Game three. Oh, what up to no eight? more respect. Yeah. It's all or nothing on the line here. Both of these players not trying to go losers. If you know, if you know any CF bracket, going to losers might as well be a death wish, man. Oh, yeah. It's a oh, bloodbath that down there. Crouching confirmed, but not completing that combo. Pushing a little bit forward. He's trying to get him into that corner so Terami can really, really run his offense. Oh, see for pressure. 6 BB plus. Nice defense from Barzog. Taking back his turn. But nice anti-air. It's like, all right, well, we'll go to this corner then. Yep. All right. Six, 76 meter for DGF right now. And a life lead to boot. But here we go. Pressure time. Uh-oh. OD through the grab. grab. That's Punish. counter hit recovery. That should be it. Yep. Terami just... Absolutely puts out so much damage. Yeah, especially an OD, man. And look at that meter just drain away. Doesn't help. Ragnar has the lowest health pool in the game because of his yeah. life steal. T only 10k. Almost 6k damage, though. This, this character hits. There it is. There's the interaction. There it is. There it about. is. You got to know that if you want to be a good player in this matchup. Neutral, baby. Here we go. Nice. Going to go for the couch confirm. Beautiful. Oop, ah. Going up into that 34. Oh, nice but the text back. grab. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes the Ragnar player will uh, whip CC right in front of your face to make you think you can go for a whip punch. Really, the situation can be really uh, disadvantageous for you. It's a, it's a little uh, visual trick. Ooh, cross trigger. Both players still with their burst. Oh, but the, the back throw into the corner confirm. There we go. And that is over 25 meter back. He's like, oh, yeah. it's my turn. I just the counter uh, assault, though. Yep. Especially just when you're counter have a life lead like this. You can take some hits. Bars are really relying on the aerials right now to get in. Hero popped OD from. And that oh, should be it. Wait, depends. Maybe. No. All right, OD timer's out. Even game. 2A pressure, 2B, 2C, 5D, 6C. DGF has really, nice really fought this back. Oh, oh that's, that's it, it that's though. Sucks. That might kill. Oh, it's going to kill. What am I talking about? 
The scaling. Oh, man. Oh, the wait. The scaling. Ah, ah the anti-air. Anti-air jab to seal the deal. DGF going to winner's finals. Stomping on his opponent. So much difference. In the after combo. Good Nine Lord. hits. Oh, he reset. Oh, my God. Make it stop, man. He's already dead. He's already dead. <laughs> oh, man. But good showing from DGF here. That Close match from Marathon. I couldn't have I couldn't have asked for better as a as a Ragnar player, you know. Oh man, I couldn't have asked for better as a as a Teremi player. Yep. Truly showing, you know, their prowess at the matchup. You like, you, if you want to win these characters, these are the guys to watch. Man. Oh yeah, these are the guys to watch. Both of them playing for uh, basically uh, as long as I've been in the scene, even maybe even longer. I don't know. Mm. That's just how it is. Yeah. But man. Man, that was really something else. Yeah, man. Like, dude, Blaze Blue, bro. Blaze Blue. I love, I love this game, man. I love this game. Man, both players just, just showing why this game is so cool. Showing yeah. why their characters are so cool. Mm -hmm. You know. And uh, I, I think the crazy part is like both, both of those characters are primarily like strike throw. Of course they, of course they have to mix up in there, but primarily strike throw. But in this game, you know, active defense. Um, which one would think would destroy strike throw. Like, no, it's still powerful in this game, especially due to stack of pressure and frame data. Like, as you said, Termi 5B is plus, um, Rocket 2A is uh, plus minus zero. So there's a little mind game to be played there, which really just um, oh, definitely. adds to the mental stack. The mental stack of winning this game, man. Oh, man. That's a true thing that makes or break a player. Like, uh, if you ever watch, like, modern CF top eights, especially after rollback, Monarch truly just unbreakable no oh, matter man. where he goes, Lambda or S. And, you know, I don't, I'm not even sure if he has a mental stack. If he asks me, it's a mental plane, it's just completely flat. He's it's like, all right, flat. yeah. He's like, oh, well, I, I mean, you're asking me to block. I'm just going to sit yeah, here and block. Like, I, I can block this. Yeah. Like, I can react. I don't know if you can. I can, though. But, man, speaking of mental stack, Teremi's offense is very, very strong because he has so many different options that he can hit you with. Yeah. But it looks like we're going to be getting into our next game here, so we'll save that for a little bit later. Yep. Uh, we have Aerith versus... Uh, Aerith versus... Uh, I forget the tag. Oh, Blue Thunder. Blue Thunder. All right, so that is uh, Hawkman versus. Don't know. Don't know yet. Well, Aerith, I, I know for sure has been in the scene for a while. When I start first started playing in the uh, BBCF, you know, back in the days of delay based net code, there's only a few discords you can really go into to play the game because you know you can't just find them. You can't just find any Joe Schmo on rank, so you gotta go up and. Uh, these guys, uh, at, uh, Final Friendly's Front Town, these guys have been carrying Steam CF uh, all the way through, even till now. If you guys are watching back at home, like, shout out to Kasha. I know, I know you're retiring, but, like, thank you for all you've done. Thank you to Eric. Thank you to Chanye. Uh, that's the production name. I never really got it. I always said it's a final, you know? But, um, Aerith here coming out to show support for the BBC scene. Immediately after uh, CF was announced here, he came up and went, like, hey, I can help. And, you know, he's helped a lot. And he's helping himself to a top eight finish right now. That's true. Yeah, definitely. Definitely looking forward to seeing this match as well. Yeah. Oh, we have an Iron oh. Tager. Okay, this is gonna be interesting because we talk about mental stack, and I think these two really put it, really just make you go mental if you ask me. Hawkman oh, and yeah. Tager. You know, we we know the, we know the course of grapplers. Like, it can happen to me, it can happen to you. But Hawkman is a totally different case already because what if you had to guess on your own Oki? I'm not talking like, oh, oh okay, yeah. what if he's just gonna wake up DP? I can eat the damage. What if you know you got. What if this guy can just pop a counter on his wake up? And, oh, I took 60%. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's fair. Thank you, Maury. Hawkman has those really, really long buttons long to help buttons keep Tager yeah. out, but he does have that armor that can get him through that. Uh, Tager's armor does lose to Lowe's, though. Yep. So it is not entirely invincible. Oh, but that big counter hit, uh, JB, bouncing him off ground. Yeah. Now, KTD, do you want to explain for the audience at home what's going on with Hawkman's meter over there? All right, so it slowly fills over time, which gives him access to different special moves, different options that he can use. Um, so he is, a he is a defensive monster that really asks you to come to him. Yeah. He's got those really crazy buttons. His sword is able to cut through projectiles, which is what we saw right there. Because, you know, Tager, he might seem like a nice guy. He's, he's Offering his, his his hand and friendship, if, <laughs> if you will, but he's got that gun in his back pocket. Yeah, he's got to load it first. But uh, Ackman really able to uh, cut uh, cut that down. But Tager able to drop him down, pick him up, pull him in, applying more magnetism. Yeah, that's something also about Tager. You know, Blaze was a crazy game, and I think only in Blaze could you have a grappler with magnets. Could you imagine Tanky with magnets? Oh man. Yeah, and the his character's a B tier. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can't believe that. But yeah, with oh, but the 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 blue grab. Yep. 
But uh, the thing with oh, oh the reset all right, there you attempt. Go. Finally, finally we got a tag. Thank God. With, I know from Boston, but you know you, you don't got to call back from Boston Blue man. Finish your combos. But with um with Taker's magnet. Oh, that was a really bye bye. Good reversal. There you go. Game just, one over. Just to mention very quickly though, Taker's magnetism does stack. So the more times he hits you with moves that apply magnetism, the longer it will stay. Um, and it gets to a point where you'll just be standing there for, you know, 10, 15 seconds and just he's pulling you in the whole time. Yeah. Getting that offense going with those, you know, command grabs that have windows of invincibility on them. Uh, but Aerith really, really shutting that down. Yeah. What doesn't help is uh, in FFF, uh, the Discord I was talking about, they actually have a pretty good uh, Tager player to my knowledge. I'm not sure if he still plays, but Scrimgor. So I imagine uh, Aerith has a lot of uh, matchup knowledge. Definitely, definitely. And I, I mean, it shows. Look at what he's doing right now. Just Perfectly amazing. playing around uh, all the Tager options. Ah, oh. and a purple throw to boot. Come on, man. Ah! It's that's like the end to that. But hey, whatever gets you the dub. It's like, all right, you're going to do that to me, I'll do that to you. Yep. Like, jump. Oh, going right up to him. No fear of the command grab at all. He's right in, getting that offense going, building up meter to get more of those charges. Nice the big anti-air. Anti -air. A drop. Hate to see it. Tigger slipping out of the corner, but Aerith slowly pushing him right back in. Tigger spot back to mid-screen, applying that magnetism, getting that big reset. Yup. Here we go, Tigger Bombo. That's going to be big damage, too. Tigger, another character that has very high meterless damage. Nice jump. Now, this is the part where Tigger wants to be. You can run, but you can't hide, man. The magnets are coming for you. Oh, punishing the 5C, though. Ah, ah. Getting that offense moving. Push him right back out, though. Tager does, in fact, have Spark Bolt, though. So he can apply that good bit of extra magnetism. And yeah, it looks that like it. will be it. Yeah. All right. Very quick and very solid play from Aerith. Going on a winner's battle to meet TGF. That'll be one to see. Yeah. Very quick match. Not a lot of the counters I thought I would see from... Uh, Aerith, but you know, I, I kind of get it. The, the only thing that really beats a counter is his uh, throws, and I guess I guess it's a grapple. You don't want really money throwing those out, man. Oh yeah. But yeah, definitely a very very strong showing from Aerith. Indeed, Looking so forward good. to that winners finals very very much. Indeed. All right, all right. Uh, we should now be moving moving back on to losers, to my knowledge. I'm not sure if we do winners finals now, but hey, more blades blue is always more blades blue. And I'm always more blades blue is more blades blue. Yep. Yep. All right. But yeah. You know, while we're here, I got a question. Yeah? Uh, almost forgot my question. <laughs> What's a character you have the least fun fighting while we're trying to buy time for our players here? Oh, man. Uh, if I had to say, pro probably Kokonoe. Really? <laughs> she's, she's something else. You and the rest of the world, huh? <laughs> I, you know, you, you, you just watch Banana Ken do it once or twice, that, yeah, you know, man. 9K off a grab. <laughs> You're like, oh, man. You're like, oh, yeah. They're nice and un fun and interactive gameplay. I love watching my character, you know, oh, go yeah. to Golden Tager. Oh, yeah. Me personally, it's Tutsuno. It's a matchup I've always struggled with. I know how to play it, but it's just like, maybe it's maybe so because I'm, I'm screwed as a Ragnar player. It's like, okay, I will hit this dude four times, right? He's at red health. Like, one more 5B will take it. We have to respect back to neutral. He bursts in me. All right, cool. I get hit. Oh, wait. Why is the game even now? Yeah. And, and now he's just a better character on my screen who can just mix me to high health. And I got to block him doing 5 and stuff. Like, dude, just let me yeah. live, man. Susano's definitely dead. up there. He's supposed to be dead, man. Yeah. But what we got up there right now is Barzai versus Jugos. Ragnar versus Azrael. Oh, uh, that'll pretty tough matchup for Azrael uh, from what I hear from other Azrael players. But we'll see what Jugos has to offer with his slow and commanding pace. Oh, definitely. Right. But man. Why does she also have magnetism? I don't let Tager have his thing. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> like, like I don't need a mall too hard on, Co on Coconut. Oil. Like, we're on a professional street, but like I, I think she can live without it. Yeah. Or if you're listening, BB5, come back to Arc Station, just, just nerf her, bro. Just nerf her. Give it a give it a Super Bowl too. Oh my god, I forgot yeah. about Super Bowl. But I'm enough about that. Uh the what was it? The Black Beast versus the Mad Dog. Who y'all got? Who y'all got? Hold on, hold on. What does crowd think? Crowd, 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 crowd. Can I ask y'all a question? If you want bars are to win, make some noise. All right, all right. 
If you want Jugos to win, make some noise. All right, Crowd is a clear favorite, but I don't know. Crowd ain't the one in the top eight, so let's see what the players got. We got all those cannon matchups today, though. Yeah. Yep. Shout out to Crown and Phantasma. You know, fighting Zuda in a story mode, one hell of a fight. Oh, for sure, for sure. Getting right into it, though. Ooh. Oh, expecting that 5v round start. Yeah. Just blowing right through it. For anyone who doesn't know, that uh, that move right there can be very much like a Guilty Gear 6P right there. It has almost full upper body info. Yeah, it blows right through a lot of moves. Yep. Can definitely be a, a tough tool to deal with sometimes. Oh, but the whiff DP in into that big damaging combo. Yeah. Going right into the corner. Oh, for the, the grab attempt, but right into the super, and that's going to seal out that first round. Was that a rocket perfect? I think so. I think it was. <laughs> All right. Rebel two. Two. Five B round start. No, nope, just pure patience. I respect it. Trying to go for the anti air. There's an air dash. Trying to reset. Wow. Good defense from Barzad. Knocking him right down with that DP, but respecting the back dash, respecting the DP. Goes right into the five D. Wow. Okay. Oh, cut the jump with Hell's Fang. Beautiful. And oh, covered the, the back dash. Nice. A little, really nice fast jab. There. Definitely helping out. Go, bot, boot, bot, nightmares will bring him down back to hell. And definitely getting some health back too. Jumping right out of that corner though, and he's like, it is your turn. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Right, point applied, what's the mix? None. Burst into the corner, I respect it, momentum burst too. If you need something like that. Oh no, that astral finish? Yeah, oh. there we go, second astral finish from top eight. There we uh, go. Uh, 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 yeah, that's uh. right, give me my anime. That's, ah. my, that's my pro tag right there. Gah. Beautiful. Man, Ragnar does all that, and he's just like the most normal dude. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ain't it crazy how Ragnar be having all this dark, edgy stuff? And then, like, he at least just wants to see his family, man. Ragnar <laughs> <laughs> like, wants things to be normal. He's like, like, man, I just want to go home. Exactly, bro. <laughs> That's how I love Oh, him. the IB, though. Shutting nice down IB. that pressure, yeah. but just respecting it a little bit too much. Early burst from Jugo. So I'm not sure if I agree with that. But, hey, we'll see what he got. Ooh, miss spacing on that uh, 6 B. Doesn't nice. matter though, picking him right back up. Going for mix, but not going through with it. Picking him right back up all over again into the super. Really? Gonna spend a super now? Not killing, right. but. Whoa, that's scary. <laughs> I'm sorry, quick rise is always gonna get a little bit of a spook out of me. Oh. Just, oh, why aren't you getting up? Why aren't you getting up? <laughs> You're supposed to flash. You're supposed to flash. But those, uh, those round start uh, lariats yep. making him right up in his face, plus frames, but going right into that corner, though. Nice confirm from Barzon. Wow. Right back down. Nice. Using the whip 5A to create a tick throw situation. Oh, air grab reset, though. Oh, he really wants this burst. And there it is. He got it, but didn't bait it. Oh, got the counter hit. Uh-oh. Got Speaking another one. Hits, this is where Azrael thrives, man. This is where Azrael thrives. Cross up JB. Oh, oh, no! Pushing OD. right into that corner, though. Blocking the super. A little spaghetti coming out from both players. Growler, oh, anti-air. Remember, that move is frame five. It can work as an anti-air sometimes. Just too, real, just real just strong. Speed. Blocks of 5D. Beautiful. Oh, he's so lucky. He landed on it. He wouldn't be able to RC without it. Reversal? Ah, Not today. Okay, yeah, I hope you die for that one, bro. Like, I'm a rocket player, too, but come on, man. That's a little bit too I get you a round up. So, come on. Chill out. Chill out. Yeah. All right. Jumping right back into round three, though. Jugo's still on loser's life right now. Tournament life, I mean. Push him right into that corner, though. There we go. Nice blocks, man. Looking like Minecraft oh, blocks. Oh, damn. It's like, oh, you wanted to be in the corner? Yep. Yeah, I got you. Dive kick. The oh, drop kick? Bro, come on. Crouching confirm into the big damaging combo. And down we go. It's almost 4K. Really, really keeping Asriel out. That's oh, not baiting! Be oh, did not bait the bird. Oh, what? Got him with the super, though. Okay. Not killing, though. Big life lead here. But it's Asriel! All right, nice pressure with the Rekka. RC, overhead. Ooh, oh. Cross up grab. Ooh, didn't get the. Ah, oh, never mind. He got the whiff punish. And that'll be it for Jugos in our top eight. All right, proving the crowd wrong. Good games, y'all. Good games. Really great showing from both players. Mm -hmm.
It was it was real, real awesome. Barzar living on, keeping the blood edge dream true. Whoa. And Cannon. Cannon, That's by the true. way. It's all meant to happen. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm making that cannon matchup happen again. Yep. Ain't no timeline. Uh, ain't no timeline mess messing around here. Oh boy. All right. So I believe for our other loser side quarterfinals, ah, I already forgot. Oh wait, no. We'll have, we'll have Blue Thunder. I know that for sure. Blue Thunder and Nick, right? Yeah, Blue Thunder, Nick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The boy's a little fried in the brain. I can't remember all this stuff. I, like, I, oh, I can play fighting good. games good. Don't ask me nothing else. <laughs> I know that uh, Nick has a little bit of experience in the Tager matchup. Oh, really? Uh, just off of, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I may be a, a handshaker every once in a while. Cross up, cross up, fight him off at that point. Indeed, indeed, yep. Uh, but he does have that really, really good guard cancel that places him down right in front of him. Yeah. Probably one of the best card cancels in the game. Yeah. Something I want to see uh, Nick do here is especially uh, kind of take like the uh, approach Aerith had. Spoilers, by the way, Hawkman and Jin are the same person. Whoops. Uh, mm -hmm. Especially since they share, share the same JC, he can kind of zone out Tager with that big, big normal. Oh, yeah. Why risk going in on the grab when we could just whoop, you know? But if you make yourself a little bit too obvious, you can definitely blow right through that. And if he hits yeah. you with that uh, with that B sledge, yeah, B -sledge. Uh, it knocks you right up, and you can get a real big combo off yeah, that. Yeah, Trauma Collider too also has uh, anti air invul. That's true. Yep. Hazama. Button check. I'm gonna assume it's a button check. If he's running Hazama, then he's got that. Be news to me at least. <laughs> oh wait, no, we had it wrong the entire time. It's Truth on Criminal. <laughs> oh well. There we go. Yeah. All right. Forgot everything we said about Jin. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all a psyop. All right. But this, but is, this is even more interesting match because, you know, Osmo has to do a similar game plan to Terami in the fact that they share normals and uh, frame data on 5B. So, you know, stagger pressure is a big thing. Yeah. 5, you know. 5B, uh, 2A, 5A, I think. Yep. As well. Hmm. Um, but one thing that he really needs to be worried about is magnetism works so much better when the opponent is in the air. Yeah, that is true. Oh, nice OD to the sick. Oh, the win! Keeping him right out, yeah. stacking that up. Finally, someone text their purple throws. Then that big counter hit. Throwing him right into that corner. Nice and simple combo. Big combo into a knockdown. Ugh. Into the low, the yeah. really, really fast low. I did not react to that. Yeah, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Going right back down. Yep. Um, uh oh, I got hit by the low. That's a pretty good damage starter for a Hosma too. You know, Taker has the health to kind of take some hits. He can, he can take the punches. But can he take one more hit? I don't think so. There's Spark Bolt. And no burst. Into the too. corner. Uh oh. Big, big, big. Look at how much damage this is doing, man. How much? 5K? Pretty much. Oh, cut the no tech. Yeah, you gotta burst that. I, I respect it. Oh, shot the anti air. That's not fully oh, kill, no! and that is it. Bounce him off the ground. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Can't go for the fancy combo, man. Sparkle off the table. 
Yeah, Hajime just have to play footsie. Ah! Oh. You know what? Neutral ain't, neutral ain't real, man. Just whoop. Yeah, here. Give me a hug. Yep. <laughs> Blue Thunder taking that round. Almost damn near robbing him. Absolutely. And he kept his burst as well. Yeah, true, true. Definitely proving to be really, really scary moving forward. But Fruit Time Criminal not don't. letting that slide. Same problem we saw before. What's the Oki? Don't wake up. IB. Look to the ice cream scoop. See Crouton Criminal throwing out some of those 2As. Uh, since those do, I believe, also beat armor, since a lot of 2As have the foot property, which yeah. is what beats armor. Oh, but baiting out the armor, getting right around it. Having to jump back out, getting in, though. Uh -huh. Oh, baiting, baiting the button. Getting right in, but combo. dropping combo. Air to air, jail him to the ground. Put Magnetism on. applied. Where do you think you're going, big fella? Here we go. Big combo time. 4.2. 4. Tries to reset. He and got it! Go. I don't think he's going to be able Picking to burst right this. One more interaction up. needed. One more guess. OD. OD back. No, oh, did not the block low. the low. Oh, that sucks. All right, both players now sitting at three ticks of OD going to the next round as even as possible. Level three. Jumping right into it now. Oh, the really good poke from Crouton Criminal getting that big counter hit going into a nice 4K combo. Big Six, punish. Oh, I guess wrong. Ah, that the is so hard to block. Low. Nice combo. Nice reset. Just tacking up the damage. You know, take her. Oh, whoa. Okay, buddy. All right, you got that. You got that. You're, you're going on Twitter. Never mind. Nope. Nope. Twitter rights revoked. <laughs> Tager getting that over, uh, that burst and more importantly, OD back. Able to get that really, really big damage. Speaking of big damage. Yeah. Oh, God, hit the getting a little bit more. Oh, nice combo. But drop. So many drops this set, man. This is game one. Finish y'all food. Yeah, I respect that burst. Had to. Oh, oh. Uh, jab. Tries to go for the 720. Doesn't, doesn't get punished. Oh my god. In the air. Bro's just flying. Keeping that magnetism applied. Oh my god, though. where is he going? Oh, oh spark both the seal to deal. It. Don't drop it now. Don't drop it, y'all. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Game one going to Blue Thunder. Whoa. Yeah, man, take a breather. I'm stressed for you. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> oh, my lord. All right. Jumping right back into game two, though. Both players really, really playing this matchup very, very well. Could really definitely go either way just because of how much Hosma likes to stay in the air and all that really big damage that Taker can put out. Oh, oh but the command ball. grab going into a big punish gets dropped though. Getting a good bit of that. Oh, ah, yeah, instant burst. I respect it. You don't want to let Taker get momentum, but denied. Caught the jump. Back. Did not do oh the gadget finger for the reset. It works out. Picking ah. right back up. Oh my God! This big is combo. combo. Getting so much of that. Oh, no blue grab today. No blue grab. Yeah, I respect that burst. No you got such a life lead to work with, and this round is almost done and over with. And Taker's got so much life, too. I think Taker caps out about 12.5k. Yeah. And that's it. Sealing out that first round. Okay, Crouton Criminal. Tournament life here. Yeah, a lot of jab pressure. Got to crack eventually. Oh, the grappler backdash. Yeah, that... A sledge that he threw out, uh, not very minus at all. Very, very good pressure tool. But hitting into the air, into the reset, going right back up and right back down. Indeed. Getting a little bit more in terms of oh, wow. going up. And going right back down with the blue combo, but yeah, popping yeah, out. Pop the blue B, baby. At the very least, he's gotten that good. Oh, big oh, cat. Oh, trying to jump out. Oh, no. That's that it. it. Oh, heartbreaking way to go out. But Blue Thunder sealed the deal. No mercy, no remorse. Man, those Taker combos. Yeah, man. Big, big damage. Yep. Taker, another character that can really, really just, just dish it out. Yep. Okay. 
All right. I'm making sure to cruise on criminal though. Ama amazing, very stylish Hosma play. Oh, Clap man. it up. Clap it up. And really, really solid play thir uh, as well. Yeah. Just throughout uh, both the sets that he's played on stream today. But now we have the winners finals uh, between DGF and Aerith coming oh, up. This is gonna be a show, y'all. <laughs> this is gonna be a show. I mean, if, if, if anything, I'm looking forward to this the most. Uh, yeah. I gotta figure out how to beat this guy. <laughs> uh, I gotta figure oh, out how to beat Yakuza as well, man. Like, I think I'm doing so good. And then, oop, counter. <laughs> goes, goes in overdrive. Yeah. Casual, like, 8, 9K. Like, what, what was that image? Like, Zonsetsu was like, you have 26, li you have 26 frames before I end your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I th the thing is, like, uh, talking about strike throw again with Jeremy, since we all saw, you know, not a lot of crazy mix, uh, I think Hawkman could bank a lot more on a counter, but mm -hmm. if uh, Jeremy gets a read on it, he can cash out hard with meter. If yeah. there's one thing Jeremy can do, despite not being the strongest character exactly, is that he can kill you. Bro yes. will murder you. <laughs> but if he is able to get him good enough with that strike throw, man, that damage is going to be pretty good. Yep. Jeremy can very, very easily get up to like 7k off like just a stray counter hit 6c. Yep, yep. And that's not even optimizing that. Yeah. That's just like hitting a hit into OD into super. Uh, so just both both characters very, very threatening. Man, Jeremy is the most chaotic low tier I've ever seen in my life. He's really something. Yeah, like. I, like, I've seen this character suck. I know this character sucks. Why is he cooking me? <laughs> like, you jump over him, he hits you with, like, one hit of his, like, 50-meter uh, DP. You yeah. fall out, and then, you know, you kill him. Yeah. Does uh, 4D, he, uh, he does a 4D uh, J2D loops. I'm like, y'all sure he's loads here? <laughs> he hits you with the, uh, or he, he, he throws out the counter that loses to everything except mids. That's like mids and highs. Anyways. Another canon matchup. I'm loving these intros we got to the first time. Oh, yeah. So far, man. I'm loving the intros. I love this game, man. I love this game. So much personality. Oh, Rockstar 4C. Right well, what else would you expect from Hawkman? Those big buttons can definitely give Jeremy a little bit of trouble, but he's fighting right in and sending him right over to the corner. That was a combo. That was real nice. Ooh, nice confirm. Even if it's sent the other way, DGF's got those. One thing that I've definitely seen from from my time watching DGF's gameplay is his confirms are insane, but so was that counter. Yep. Jumping right into it, getting that big damage. Okay, nice pressure. Jeremy, without much resources, cannot do much. He needs to fight his way out of the corner. Uh, either run out, jump out, mash out. But show, show, showing him the door. Yep. Right back to the corner. And uh, with all these resources on deck, next confirm for uh, GGF kills, but back in the corner he goes. Never mind, we side switching. Hey, I'll just pick a side, man. But Teremi running right out of the corner Ooh. with that really, really nice ground speed. Getting clipped and going straight up into a big combo. Yep. And no that tech. extra damage rolling right out, though. Nice. Oh, got to block those. The stop. OD. Uh oh, wait, wait, wait. He knows! Oh! Okay, so that right there is a very important thing to know in the matchup. Whenever Teremi is OD and he pops super, he can do super to super cancel. However, Exceed Excel also comes with a super. So yeah. if a Teremi player is cheeky and you block the super, they can and will press EA. And that was amazing awareness to not just block the incoming EA, but to counter it as well. Amazing job to air up there. Very, very good play. Oh, but the big counter hit leading into a lot of resources. Keeping him in the corner, jumping right in with that 6C. Keeps jumping and going for those overheads, yep. but the tech grab's gonna let Aerith escape the corner, unscathed almost. Ah, Tsubaki! Oh, really, really big guard break. Oh, amazing confirm, wow! Up and down. The lay rolls out of the corner, but goes right back into it. Aerith is commanding him. Yeah. But nice answer to the jump pressure. No side switch here. We're just going to go straight to the mid screen. That's going to be some yep. really good damage, though. And no tech leads into the leads into the snake bite. Nice check. Nice check. Didn't get a combo off it, but it's good to know. You're not just being, you're not just being there looking pretty. OD, that might be it. 
That might definitely be it. And, oh, not yet. Oh, oh he's going to throw. The, the grab I think that's them. 5C starting. That he's really at 3K. is. Uh, 4.2. Uh, 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 uh. That's a lot of meter on deck. Your life is over. meter super. This fella is gone. We're going to the next 100 round. meter combo. Woohoo! Uh. Tell him how it is. Tell him how it is. Boom! And there we go. 70% combo coming out from DGF. There, there's that 7K. Yep. Jumping right back in. And then into the next round. Music ramping up. It's already these players. Whoa. Getting a good amount of resources. Baiting the counter. Sending him straight into that corner yet again. Oh, what but a Continuing. Very, very good spatial awareness. Yep. He knew he wouldn't get the full animation hit, but he still hit stun to be had there. Got to make sure it counts. Jumping ah. in with the JB. Blocking the overhead. Both of them got helmets on. They're protecting oh. their cranium. They're protecting their dome. But you got to take them both. If he, if he RCs right before the final hit, there's enough of a gap to get that really, really good red throw in there. Very Cut hard to, the to react to. Just what he needed. Ooh. Eric's got to make something happen here. You can't let TGF sit on this life lead. Don Tetsu, both hits blocked. Beautiful. I think those were IB'd as well. Yep. Sending him right back into the corner, though. Drops a combo. Staying right out of his range. Going right back in, though. Oh, nice Just daring him to press but a can't block the and overhead. that is going to be the game. Yep. Beautiful play from both players. Both oh players definitely showing why they're in, uh, in winner's finals. Something else. I can't get enough. I can't get enough of this game, man. And it since is. this is Winter Finals, I believe this is now first of three, right? I do believe so. Yep. So that means we got an, an extra an extra set. Yep. You could see UGF needing to win two more. Nice jump over to 4C. Didn't exactly get any promise off it, but it's good to avoid that normal no matter what. Getting checked on the way in, though. It's really, really... Oh! But... Nice counter. Wow. Really keeping him out. Slowly pushing him to the corner. Jumping that uh, ground snake. Ground snake is a projectile, so it can be cut. Yep. Um, both players vying for position. Vying for, you know, any type of combo here. Like, no one has gotten the first knockdown in the game yet, really. Oh, yeah. But right. I think we're seeing it right now, though. Yeah, commentator's curse might be DGF. Oh. Ooh, nice going over to low. It's right Jason back, though, with that crouching confirm. Bop, bop, bop. Ooh. Nice confirm. Oh, there we go. All the way to the corner. Jumping the 2B. Beautiful. That ground Watch snake is really, here. really nice for plus frames. Drags them right in and lets Teremi really go in with his uh, game plan. Oh my god, what a confirm. Almost getting reset though, but jumping up her uh, up the corner. Hero Reverse. burst. Put this dude in Marvel Comics and he's a hero. It. And now he's going zero. Oh no. Okay. Getting right in. Neither player are anywhere close to getting their burst. One tick each. Zero but Magatama he, for Aerith right now. Not going to be able to do a lot of hot grid stuff. If he hits a counter, though, he will get one. Purple throw text. No push-ups here today. Well, the uh, the the overhead from Karami does not grant a combo normally. It is uh, very useful for tick grabbing uh, in scenarios just like that. Oh, the mix-up. Oh, oh, the whiff. Oh. Oh, my God. My dude said stand-up. Yeah. With a noggin too. Ugh. Bro look like he hit a metal concert, just headbanging. Big combo. And into the knockdown. Into the reset. And that is going to be it. Just as he gets that burst back. Alright, both players. Actually, no. He's just sending a six ox of OD. Wait, I, oh my god. Alright, you're wild that, for that one. Run up throw? <laughs> never mind. I, Actual jump scare. I. I did not react to that. Yeah, I, I didn't take that. I'm going to keep it real with you. Oh, baiting the counter, going right into the corner, getting that big combo using the RC. Going for the reset. Oh, the air throw. throws. 
<laughs> that ground air, throws as well. That air throw bounces off the wall, so it throws him out of the corner, but it's a pretty good way to mix up your opponents. Just getting that little bit of extra meter. He's got 50, so he's able to do a lot of his game plan right now. He needs a big hit. He needs a big hit right now if Eric wants to tie this out. Just one fell swoop. OD. Nice JB. so scary. Oh, this could be it. All right, one more interaction Rock needed. Cross up. Oh. Oh, my whiffs. Oh, my God, Aerith. Close out, Big man. Big counter hit. Oh. Yeah, he got a burst. He had, a, he had Astral. Yeah, that been no Astral for today. What's he eat? There oh. you go. The really, right. really big. One win for winner's final. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a set. Oh, man. This is some good Blaze Blue. This is good. This is good some good Blaze Blue. This is some good goddamn Blaze Blue. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Right, heading back into it. Must die on the track. The Wheel of Fate keeps turning, y'all. Nice jump over to 4C. You got the Susan OP. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> there they are. I mean, you mix these two together, what do you get? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the delay on the overhead. Yeah. But nice that was really, there. really nice. Never mind. Oh, he, he got nice defense. That's going to be a big combo. He's going to get a lot of that meter back. Yep. There, put him on that Magatama. Scared of a counter here. Just rolls out for his troubles. Counter hit, not confirming into much, but he's. Oh! Ooh. Going into the overhead for that, but getting shut down, but just slipping out. Uh, couldn't quite confirm up. It's just to go for an air-to-air -air ch chase. Gets counter for his trouble. RC. Jump in. Oh! Nice come in. Grab. Doesn't kill, though. That meter. That crossed up? Yo, what? Okay. Command grab is very slow, but it grants a lot of meter on hit, and it's a really good mix-up for when people have their mental set completely overloaded. Yep. Just with all those different options that Terabee has, all those lows, all those highs, all those plus frames, and all those combos, big meter gain. Spacing mode with 4C, I like it, I like it. Oh, that was oh, a, anti that was a crazy anti-air. Sending him right back into the corner. What do we see now? Nice 3.28. Uh oh. Things are crumbling for Aerith right now in this game three, man. Going right down. No tech giving that little bit of extra meter. Yep. Snake bite real, real, real good. One of Terry Mee's most versatile moves, but that is going to be it. Yep. Amazing play from GGF in this game three. Two, one, dos y uno. Finishing that off with the snake hole. This fella is locked in, man. He came here to win. Oh, yeah. I respect it. I respect it. Honestly, yeah. All right, but getting right into game number four now, game right? Game four, yep. All right. I still think Aerith has the potential to take it. He hasn't Definitely. exactly blown up uh, GGF like some Hawkman players kind of bank on. He's just kind of playing solid. Just kind of clean up stuff, keep him more consistent, keep him locked down. And like I said, Terry is a weasel. He will find his way out, and he will kill you for it if you do not get him. I guess in that case, he's more like a raccoon. <laughs> Man. And then just a lot of a lot of uh, defense against Jeremy is just knowing exactly what he's going to try to trick you with. Mm -hmm. A lot of his offense can be a little gaslighty. Like, all right, what am I going to hit you with? Uh -oh. But Aerith really shutting that down, putting him right in the corner, and getting that big 3K combo. Yeah. But DDF slipping right out, going right back in. Oh, but the Six really, the really big counter hit, that oh, is not ballsy. dead. Speaking of ballsy, what a counter. Hey! Oh, I love that combo. Why do you have to drop it, man? Counter hit uh, 6C into Stomp into uh, Super. That's a very good chunk of change, but I do not think it would have killed from there. DGF holding onto that meter, trying to fight his way out. Oh, he's holding him out. Oh! Big hit from Aerith. I want to let you know, even, even if he didn't have any health, he was dead on that counter hit 6C. That's like oh, one of the best yeah. fatal counters in the game. It is. It, it is. That thing might as well be a nuke. Oh, get, getting the oh counter hit. Oh, my God. Okay. okay. Really nice him, but that was really cool. Uh, oh, countering the, the projectile, but getting counter hit out of the... Oh. And on counter hit, that does grant combo, putting him in the corner, getting that really nice. good meter gain. Both players playing incredible, teching like almost every throw. 
Very, very oh, solid nice play. Cut. Closing very, up that space. very solid. I like how Aerith can talk. I like how Aerith changes the pace sometimes. You know, sometimes you see him flying around, kind of setting himself with all these uh, uh, Bakatama cancels. And other times, he just, he just cuts out the whole down back. Yeah. Oh, got the wall stick, but it's a no combo. I gotta appreciate that uh, that side switch from DGF, though. That was really nice. I gotta steal that. <laughs> oh, man, but going right into it. DGF sending him right over to the other corner. Knocking down. The mix is jump in. Big combo, but drops it. Baits the counter, and that's going to be the round. Yep. DGF on game point. Yep. Set point, actually. Getting right into round three. Both players taking it really, really slow. I respect oh, it. I respect it. Ooh, getting a little bit too antsy with these counters now. Come on, man. It's going to be a really big combo. Nice 50 meter. Gets right in, still has a little bit of meter left over. I like to jump out. Yeah. Oh. oh, big counter hit, but doesn't confirm. Yeah, Aerith is bleeding here, man. No confirm to his Plus name frames. yet. Low crush. Into even more meter. Ah, and the counter in. hit. That's it. Wait, not enough OD timer, I believe. But 100 meter super. He's going to take away a lot of that meter, though. So even if he survives, which he does, he does not have too many resources. And that is going ah, to be yeah. the game. And Amazing the set. Play Amazing there. play from both players. Amazing play from both players, too, yep. Wow. What a set. What a set. Y'all, can we make some noise? DGF sitting in grand finals. Definitely. Beautiful, beautiful. And now Eric sitting for whoever awaits him in losers finals. That's definitely going to be quite the match, too. Yep. So we're going to be getting into losers uh, semis next, right? Yep, we are now in our BBCF top four. If you're just tuning in, I'm Aerodat. This is KTD. We are here out in Jabali land at CEO 2023. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Pretty good. Yeah. I mean, so far we've had some really, really good Blaze Blue. Um, every player showing exactly why they made it through that 50-man bracket. Yeah. Wow. Leave a side bracket like us. There's a small little anime game, 50 mans. Yeah. Pretty much running a, reg a, like a regional sides bracket. And, man, it, it's been quite the bracket, too. A lot of very, very strong players. Mm -hmm. uh, many people in that bracket definitely would have made some really, really nice uh, games right here uh, in the top eight as well. The community is alive, well, and very strong. I mean, I, yeah, there's the reason why it's called Community Effort Orlando. I'm seeing a lot of regional players come out for uh, CF years. A lot of players I didn't know personally because, you know, your boys from up north, you know, I, I only really know the Boston scene and, like, what they do online. But I'm really proud of what the, what was it, Southeast got here. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, as, as someone who's relatively new to the, uh, to the, the local South, uh, Central Florida scene, uh, it's been very, very nice. A lot of people to play with. A lot of very good players. Yep. But we we're go. gonna get Ragna versus Iron Tager moving in. Yep. This will be our losers semifinals match, I believe. Ragna versus Iron Tager, Barzod versus Blue Thunder. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. Now, as a Ragna player, I could say this matchup is uh, something else because it's kind of like Susano, where you keep pounding at this guy. Pause. <laughs> you keep hitting this guy over and over again, and he just keeps getting up because, you know, the health pool is so large. And all it takes is one magnetism to end your life and end your career because, you know, 10K health, man. Yeah. And uh, I have a, what was it? We have a Tager demon uh, up north in Boston Blue Bee Monthlies called Jackie Sparkles. Shout out to that guy. If you're watching Jackie, I love you, man. I love you. Thank you for teaching me everything uh, I know about uh, Tager. But uh, the big thing for Tager to match up is that he struggles hard, and I mean, hard with Ragnar's pokes and pressure because he doesn't have the defensive option to really call out Ragnar hard besides gambling on 360s. And if the Ragnar player is aware of that, like oh, so, he can do 16 counter. right there to get big counter hits and big damage. Boop, bop, boop, bop. There you go, into the corner. Tager's life is now a living hell. I was definitely going to ask about this matchup because it seems a little rough for Ragnar, but you wouldn't guess because of how, uh, uh, of how it, this game's going so far. Yeah. But is that going to turn around? Magnetism is applied. But the whiff grab is going to lead to a big counter hit into a bigger combo. Yep. It's going to be a nice 3,800. That's a good corner carry too. Look at the look at how Barzad is like stagnating his pressure and structuring it. He's structuring it in a way where basically 
Blue Thunder can't even gamble on a 360 because so many of Ragnar's moves that he's doing will crush it hard and crush oh. mash it too. That's true. The only thing uh, Taker has to do here is kind of like bank on a grappler back dash if he can, or use it, or burn the resources to OD. That backdash is really, really good though. Has a lot of invincibility frames, but into the corner, yep. big combo, all the way back down. This is what I mean. All it takes is one, one little conversion for Taker to ruin Ragnar's life. But Barzad looking comfortable going back to the corner and forcing out the first right out. He has Spark Bolt on deck though. Yep. Stacking that magnetism. Oh, oh the anti air. Ah, 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 ah. And down. There you go. Astro on deck. Are we going to see it one more time from Barzad? Yes, we are. Beautiful. Bring it up one ah, more time ah, for the Astro. Ah, ah, ah. And that's it! Woo! That's, that is one of the best actions in the game. It's so sick. It's basic, but I love it, man. You can have your big flashy animation. Me, I'll just take the darkness of hell. <laughs> it's, it's something else. It's really something else. But man, I'm just gonna say, they got one of the best songs on the game, too. Yup. Black Onslaught 2. I love my thrash metal, man. <laughs> it's something else. Yup. But, oh, big grab. Here we go. This. This, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this could be it. Yep. This character is scary. Ooh, nice oh, nice backdash on the 360. The wedge catapult is whiffing, but he's spending the burst. Yep. Trying to make use of the uh, the bit of magnetism that he still has. But he does have Spark Bolt, and that is scary, and it'll lead to a lot. Yep. Keep him safe, surprise the opponent. It's real fast, real big. Real good, too. Yeah. I like the jump pressure, kind of go for a mix there, but the late tech coming out. Oh no, mix the anti air whip with J2C. Big boy combo, it's big boy season, y'all. Find yourselves one. Ah, ah, a lot ah. of magnetism, a lot of damage. Oh, there and we go to 360. Blue Thunder is alive and well in the Blue semifinals. Fakes that grab, or fakes the overhead and gets that grab. Going right into round two. Very, very commanding. Don't forget, y'all, this loses semifinal two, so we're back to first Ooh, to two. Ooh, the big counter hit. It's do or die. Picks him up, puts him down, says, get back over here. Yep. Nice interrupt on the 60. Oh, wow. Into the corner. Not getting too oh. much. Ducking the gra ducking the, the five A's. That's not looking good. I know Margot didn't punish. want that. 32.9. Yeah, force the burst out. I respect it. Ooh, Spark Bolt. Ragnar can't move as well. Oh my god, what was that DP? Definitely a misinput. No way it wasn't. Oh, the crush trigger. Leaving him right in front of him. Very, yep. very, very scary. Ah, 1-1. One, one. Oh my god, Blue Thunder. Wake it up. So that stomp that Taker has is able to beat all foot attribute moves. So yep. that's most, uh, most, if not all, two A's. A lot of lows. Nice and easy low crush. Yeah, very, very good. Gives him good combos because it does also force crouching, so yep. he gets that extra uh, uh, hit stun as well. So jumping yep. in, nice aerial aerial DP, um, but he's pushing yeah, him in the corner, but it does not earlier. matter. He got more damage off that grab. Oh, but he's just doing DP it again. He's risky, like, no, you are in the corner. No, I'm not. Yep. I got his finger time to guess that mix. He guessed right. I mean a DP. Beautiful play. Oh my god, he Big confirmed combo. off that. The instant overhead. Wow. Very, very scary. But so is that spark bolt. Ooh. He's just holding that 6C, man. That was scary. Purple throw attacked. Throw. Combo burst. Trying to oh! get that back. But he pulls him in and just knocks him down. Chop the combo. This is not looking good for Farzad. Pressure. Picks him right, up. There and we go. We ain't dropping it. that. Blue Thunder on Definitely tournament life. Oh, now start. What are we gonna see? Jump forward. Nice pitch from Bars out of these round starts. Ah, got the combo. Setting him right down, putting him right back in that corner. Oh, but the grappler back dash. Wow. Almost getting him out of there. Oh, catches the roll. Nice block on Gauntlet. No punish though. Ooh, that hurt. That big counter applied. hit applies that magnetism, picks him up, but that DP is really doing a lot of work. Ooh, what an anti here and what a confirmed OD. I don't get combo kills, but got the style points for me, dog. Damn. Oh, oh the, the cross under. Oh, no. Does it confirm? It's spaghetti out here in Jabali land. 
Puts him nice in the corner. Switch. Magnetech, Magnetech wheel, this might just kill! Big yes, punch. sir! Knocks him off the wall. All right, last round, here we go. Each player on the tournament life, both playing real, real good. Yep. Got hit by counter hit 5D, not enough meter to really make it hurt though. Puts him in the corner, but he rolls right out. Oi! That was a nice JB. Nice DP. That DP is really, really doing a lot of work right now. Yeah, caught the roll with 5B. I respect it. Oh. oh. On wake up. Stuffing any attempt on any kind of armor. Jager's bleeding here. OD on deck. Here it comes. Trying oh. to go for 720. He risked it all. And into the Astral. Beautiful finish from Barzad. One more time. Give it up. Yeah, give yourself a little break, big man. My God. I mean, I, it's Taker, man. Winning or losing, you're stressed. That's true. <laughs> he offers his hand in friendship. <laughs> I, I would call that friendship. That was pure malice. <laughs> See the way he grabs you with catching finger? You call me your bro. It's like, shake my hand. It looks like he's picking you out the chip bag. <laughs> Won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? <laughs> oh, man. But now it'll be Barzod going to meet Aerith in losers finals we are now in top three these three players will now be getting that cash money for this bracket and this is another cannon matchup true that is a, this is not cannon matchup Ragna versus uh Hawkman. this cannon on so many layers once again spoilers right away Hawkman is Jin, so there's a there's a lot of layers both on the fighting game level both the story level that's something also i also love about blaze blue you'll never like meet a blaze blue fan who like only cares about like the gameplay like they Everyone, ha everyone loves their character. Some of us kind of, oh, everyone definitely. knows a loyal to a little extent. Like it's it's an amazing community out here. Oh man, but definitely, definitely looking forward to this next game. It's very, very strong player. Has shown his dominance throughout the entire bracket so far. Only going down to losers in um, in winners finals. Yep. And still, even then, fighting uh, very, very well in that set. But I believe this one is a first, first to three. three as well. Yep. We're now purely in the first to three zone. It's do or die. But you got a little, you got a little bit of time to you know assess the situation. You made it here. You deserve it. That's true. Both players getting ready. They're going straight into it. No button check. Both players ready. Both players ready. You're in production. We don't know. Already. <laughs> Oh man, a, Bla a, a Blaze Blue classic song right here. I believe this Condemnation Wings one, such a banger. Monorail, amazing stage. I love the lighting on here, and we got our intros too. Let them rock, baby. Let them rock. Man, this whole soundtrack's full of bangers. Mm -hmm. That game was in his bag, making this game soundtrack, man. That's true. That's true. Getting right into it. What are we gonna see? Both players respecting each other's buttons on round start, but Aerith fighting his way in. Lost Big stop, but that ends his turn. Retreating back to that corner. Nice throw tag. What was that? What? Check. Yo, that was something else. That's not his cross-up button. I should know that. I have like a thousand hours on this game. That is not his damn cross-up. Oh, no, it's his ice Okay, what's going on in this match, yo? <laughs> okay, caught the fuzzy jump with the JD, jailing him down to the ground. Nice challenge from Era. Beautiful. Yep, here we go. Anti-Air City. Taking him right oh, out of that corner. Sending him right down. Threatening to... And will that be it? Is that enough damage? Should Carnage, be. scissors? Oh. Not yet. Okay, there the you DP go. Yeah, use the last bit of meter. <laughs> I, like how, I, I know for sure me and Barzard both thought that was going to kill. Because that oh, RC man. was super late. <laughs> yeah. And you definitely don't want Hawkman to get out when he's got full stocks. Yep. Ooh, nice throw tech. Even better ID, though. The throw techs over like the past few games have been insane. No yeah. one's getting caught. Nice check, yeah. So wild right wild Rocket does right a little bit of down. mix with high low. It's not real, man. You gotta check it. That's true. Pushing his way out. Both players playing really, really good defense. Uh, commentator's curse. Sorry, <laughs> hey, man, it's a net play unblockable. Even offline, it can be a little bit unblockable. That's true. Oh, that was. Oh my Double gosh, I'm getting overhead. hit by every overhead in the book right now. Can we get another one from our troubles? Nope, we're gonna see Crush Sugar though. Gonna burst. 
Eric Keith. Keith. Looking almost in the back for Farzad, but it's Hawkman, man. You don't know what's going to happen when this character's on screen. He could just... Oh, and that will be that will it. Do it. Beautiful play from Farzad there. Farz yep. Farzad, uh... Sealing out uh, the first game. Two rounds straight. Can we make some noise for Barzad, y'all? Can we make some noise? Let's not leave Aerith in the dirt. What y'all think of Aerith? What y'all think of Aerith? Mm hmm. Blaze Blue is here, man. Blaze Blue is here. They really are. The, the seats have definitely a good number of players in them. Yep. But jumping right back into it, we letting the uh, intro rock again. Getting right into it. Run up 6B round start. Nah, Aaron, you got that. You got that, bro. He's not afraid. Yep. And, and press a counter on minus frames. Oh, my God. Bro's wilding out right now. Sending right. right down. Taking full control, being much more aggressive. Nice DP. Catching the extended hurt box on uh, 3C. Combo. Yeah. Yeah, nice and simple. About 30% for his shovels. And then that good bit of health back, too. Hawkman really just pointing and poking him out. Oh, Not getting too much off that counter hit, but fighting his way out of the corner. Yep. Nice he, tag! You definitely need to be careful not to give either of these characters an inch because they will take the it a mile. Right? Bro! Barzai, what's good with you, man? Hero burst, though. And that will. Oh! Burst back to back! And ah, that'll be it. Alright, both players Earth going to the next round. round one. No burst. Zero takes each, going right into it. I'll start. Both just giving each other the respect they need. Walking back. Nice confirm. Coming out of Farzad. That really, really good pressure. Here we go. Bring Pushing us to the corner. With all right the in there. Yeah, heads off a negative frame. Just hoping to catch a mash. But, yeah. you know. Turn Aaron is over. Holding down back. That's what I mean by thinking about changing up the pace. We can see Aaron wild out, but he knows when to calm it down. That's definitely true. Very, a, a, a very good sign of a strong player. But that crouching confirm is going to lead to a lot of damage, too. But he drops it. Oh, no. Goes for the reset, but doesn't work out. Oh, that was a nice confirm. Beautiful. Sends him straight down. Nice anti-air. Beautiful reactions. But active flow, too, just going to steal the deal. Goodbye, Hawk. Very, very, very good uh, round two. Jumping right into it. Aerith does have uh, the burst available. Okay. I like the respect, I like the respect. Nice anti-air jab. Trying to get cheeky with the air throw. Remember, no matter where, air throw will be counter recovery, so you're looking at good grip of damage if you whiff. Not going for the follow-up on this one, but still getting hit. Something else I like about Barzak's play, he's not biting on uh, Wake Up DP. He's not sending it. He, he's confident deep and it shows. Oh, yeah. But, but whenever he does throw that out, it, oh, oh that counter, one one, we have a set, man, we have a set. Aerith taking that second game, and honestly, a pretty commanding fashion outside of that second round. Both players really, really going all out. Well, what's some uh, adaptations you want to see from both players here? Because me, I'm just enjoying the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, that really long button. Definitely really, really nice on round start. Ragnar sending him in. Oh, double cross. Okay. Right into the corner, though. Resetting in into a big combo, but no. drops it. Ragnar fighting his way out, getting some health back along the way. Uh oh, there's DP, but RC is going to save him. Yeah, telling him to stay in that corner. This should be Send it for the, the round. One, no though. burst. Yep, yeah. Keep it. Both players going into round two with their burst. Now, the real question is, who's going to be the one to pop overdrive first? I think it's going to be Barz that idea. He, he's got to make something happen real quick. I could definitely see that. Dragon gets that pretty good damage in, uh, in overdrive as well. Ooh, nice confirm coming out. Ragnar's bleeding. Right into the corner. 
is not able to find his way out. There's a C button zoning. Burst coming. Ah, but no! Come on, man. You got to punish that. You can't just get a clip like that and not punish. Both players respecting each other. But <laughs> Eric's able to find his way in and seal wow. out game three. Dominic game two from Eric. He wants that. He wants a run back. Getting. We're going to be moving right into game four now. Oh man, both both these players show so much respect to to each other. Yep. Really uh, fully aware of each other's abilities. The wheel of fate is turning. Jumping right. right back into it though. On, I I've I've never seen either of these characters just not mesh really? anything all around stuff before. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, maybe it's because it's not Aerith and it's not Barzar. Yeah. Ooh, barely missed face of 6B, you hate to see it. Yeah, punishes the landing lag with the uh, 5 8 though. Nice catch, but didn't finish the burn. Ooh, the cross up though. Counter putting him right into that corner yet again. Oh, the jump's not really going anywhere, but both players. Oh, just trying to pull center screen, with trying to. Oh, but that's a good DP. Sending them right to the corner. Yeah, but, oh, oh my God. Right out yeah. of there, though. Forgot he's able to do that. <laughs> he's just able to go on out of there. But anyways, bars are looking a little bit lost. But finally lands a com nice confirm. Going to pop OD for his troubles. Oh, but drops. No, dude. Oh. And that is overdrive. Going yeah. into round two without any burst at all. Very, very, very scary against Hawkman. This character hits you. You are done. Oh. Barzog's looking, looking like he lost a bit of steam, but... Oh, there's a... I think that's the first throw to set. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. That might be, the, unironically, the first throw to set. Give some good HP back, too. Yep. Ooh. Oh, baits out the counter. Oh, checks him. Pushes him right back into the corner. Check press 5B. He's been blocking for so long. You gotta do something. There's it. There's it. something. Hit. Blocks, the anti-air. I think that might be the only throw of the set. Yeah. <laughs> the way we're going. All right, one more action. It's going to spell the end of air fitness round. And there it is. That's, that's there it needed. is. Barzard is alive and well. And he's got that burst back, too. Three. Action. Start. All right. Oh, pressing that button right on round start. Nice whiff punish. Yeah. Nice and simple, not gonna go for a fully extended combo, but <gasps> oh no! Both players whipping throw right in front of uh right in front of the faces. Oh my god. Very good air to air. Nice 60 pressure. Far side really, really absolutely uh, not gonna kill, especially not if you drop yet. it like that, man. DP. Alright, losing the meter war now. Oh, 3C! Chains him down with the JC. Chains him down even more. Earth's getting pressure, really low. Earth's barrier is getting really, really He's low. He's trying to bait. Oh, no. Okay, this is the scariest. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank God. Thank God he got that. 2-2, two, right. two, game five. But that's the scariest possible five. position you can have against the Hawkman right there. Obviously, Sitting on yeah. full back at Tom, the magic pistol, you know. You know either you kill him or you get Twitter clips. There's no in between. Both right, players taking a minute. That was a really, really yeah, tense yeah, game right there. Yo, how we feeling about this game five and losers finals? How we feeling? I love the energy from the crowd. I know, right? It's it's honestly it's just nice to see people out here for Blaze Blue. Mm -hmm. But jumping right back into it. Game five, losers finals. Let the intros rock once again. Not even just for Lord. I, I bet both of these players just want a quick breather. But once again, the wheel of fate keeps on turning here at CEO 2023. Oh boy. Game five. Here we go. Both players showing that good bit of patience right at the beginning, but Aerith showing a little bit more initiative. Going for that mix up, but it gets blocked. Pushed back to the corner a little bit, trying to fight his way out. Oh, good counter hit, putting him in the corner. Yeah, it's going to be enough corner carry. Nice and simple blender. Throwing him right down. Dude, I think you're right. That might be the only throw to the entire set. 
This is insane. Oh Never no! Mind. Never mind, curse. curse! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Gets a lot of that health back too. Into a good knockdown. Nice. That DP keeping him in that corner. Oh, oh three. amazing air throw to call out the fuzzy jump. Wow, but not a big combo from him. Yeah, he got us a fuzzy jump, man. He's onto it. He's onto you. That combo. Four. Oh my god. These two are scrambling. Oh, nice. Oh, very, very good patience. Yeah, Kyle's got a bunch of the stare down, but Barzog having the life lead here. All right, all right, all right. Aerith on tournament life. So this is Burst, though. Still has overdrive. Can definitely make something happen, especially when you start hitting overheads like that. Go tagged. Barzog really making sure that no one else is grabbing this set. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, that, 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 was, that was enough. And right out, getting that reset, getting out of the corner. Putting Bowser right into it. Both players about even life right now. Ooh, big nice overhead. overhead. I got hit. Crowd, raise your hand if you got hit. Oh, Come on. That, that was a big fatal counter. Anti-air, 5A. Oh, oh, it's on Tetsu. Forcing the burst out of the area. Oh, my God. Is that it? No. He Not can't it. run to Astral here. See it here? It's air that's confirmed. It. That's going to be it. There we go! Barzai going to Grand Finals with an Astro finish! Woohoo! Honestly, really, really amazing play from both players. Oh my god. But you know now we got it. Mm -hmm. We got the cannon run back. The cannon run back! The cannon well, run back! There's no other way to end it here. That's in more cannon! Yeah? <laughs> Teremi and Ragnar players on commentary. Teremi and Ragnar in Grand Finals. 50-man bracket, but now it just comes down to two Grand Finals of BBCF here in Jabali Land, CEO 2023. If you're just tuning in, this is KTD. I'm Aerodat. And we're, we're deep in it, man. We're deep in it. <laughs> man, Blaze Blue has been... Top 8's been amazing so far. Oh, really, man. really great play from every single player. Blaze Blue Top 8's never disappointed. They never disappoint. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Crowd, are y'all feeling disappointed? I don't think no so. No words. They have no words. They have no words. They're, They're awestruck. They're awestruck. Oh, man. Oh, like, this, man. Is, this is the most beautiful Blaze Blue play I've ever seen. Oh, boy. It's, it's I think so I'm going to cry a little bit. It's so good. All I'm saying is, one, one last time, Bailey, if you're watching, this is gameplay worthy of a mainline slot. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. Everybody, we're back. Yo, let's make some noise for Grand Final. What's up? What's up? Yeah, that's what I like to hear. That Saturday energy is in full effect. I won't be too long on to ask these players some questions. Over here, my friend with the cool hat, how you feeling going into this? Bro, I got too much energy, bro. Like, oh my God. I'm in Grants. I'm in Grants. He's in Grants. Yo, make some noise. He said he got a lot of energy. You gonna tear him up? We'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. He said to be continued. What about you? How you feeling over here, my friend, with the cool fit? I don't know about everybody else, but I'm here to win this thing. And I'm doing it for the local, and it's just a message to the Blaze Blue community. Play Blaze Blue, and that's all I really can ask for everybody here. Man. Hey, that's why I like that. He said, Blaze Blaze Blue. Hey, my friends, have fun with it. Commentators, bring us home. Yep. Okay. All right. So, uh, to my knowledge, we're either going in the grand finals or maybe taking a break. I think we're just going straight in. Yep. I think we're just going straight in, y'all. Un un uninterrupted top eight. I think that's the vibe we're going for right now. Get right into it. The most cannon of cannon matchups. Yep. Wouldn't have any other way. Whew. What do you Dude. think about the Terami uh, Ragnar matchup? So, I think this matchup, right? Ragnar wins, but I don't think it's as doom and gloom as uh, Terry players say. Terry can definitely cook. Ragnar can cook in this matchup. If I had to put hard numbers on it, like a 55, 45, you know. I think I definitely thing. agree there. Yeah. I, I definitely don't think that Ragnar's, like, unbeatable. Mm. He's got he's got good buttons, good neutral. Yep. But Terry's got that good damage. He's really able to snowball. And he's got enough good counter hit, poke, uh, counter hit uh, poking options to uh, really fight his way in. But... We will see right here, both players showing a little bit of respect. Yep. Jumping right into it. Something else about, I love about this matchup, and you know, Blade Blue in general, right? But, but how car crazy characters can be in this game. Slowing it down is something that's so like underrated, oh, man. man. 
just just slowing down the pace of the match and seeing what's going on. Then going straight into the craziness. It's, it's such a sight to behold because who really takes control of like the wild movesets, the wild system mechanics, just everything about this game. Who can take control of it? It's such an awe-inspiring thing to see. Look at this right now. Like, oh, look, look at all the Ivy. Look at all that defense. Look at that anti-air jab. Really pushing him in, but he's gonna punish that really, really hard. Probably, probably won't kill. Yeah, but no. That's gonna be pretty big. Gets all that meter. Pushes him all the way to the corner. Holds on to that meter though. ICP. Trying to go for the double cross again. No avail. DGS got that. He's seen your ways. He knows what you are. Goes <laughs> right in, keeping that pressure up. Ooh, oh, but that nice really, poke. really nice button. Confirm? Oh, a little bit too far out. Just come down with Nightmare Edge. The anti anti air. I get it. Oh, but that counter hit, that's going to seal it. Beautiful play from GGF right there. And going for that lower hit super to keep him from building uh, any more uh, burst. All right, all right. Ooh, runs up into his face, stops a little bit. Uh, I'm going to look at you straight in the eye, right? You're still not going to block this. And right down, big combo. The delay nice tech one. saving EGF a little bit there. Uh, oh, he's got yeah, his own overhead. 19 frame overhead, man. That thing's fast. You got to be ready. It's like, I, I, I heard you like uh, Jin 6 8 All right, 60 pressure. Tried to catch him uh, on the way out. Oh, unfortunately, I hate when that happens on Ragnar. You know, get the first set of Nightmares, but because of pushback, you know, they go behind you. Lead up for a perfect punish. A really nice overhead, but the DP, the DP bait going no into burst a too. Yeah, locking combo. out the burst. Oh, oh, the drop. All right, for y'all at home who don't, who may not know, or y'all in the crowd, when you do OD during a combo, your opponent cannot burst out of it. It is a lock in. You want to kill that man if you're popping OD. Oh, but the counter hit, double counter hit. Oh, ah, if only had a little bit more help. I wanted to see uh, Barza get a taste of his own medicine with an actual finish. <laughs> Southern's gonna get a taste of his own medicine right now. Yeah, true. That extra combo. <laughs> yeah, y'all can't see it. We had to censor it. Too much violence on stage. <laughs> Been a little bit extra meter. <laughs> oh, boy. Game one going to DGF and his brands. Looking very dominant, but uh, Barzad has been on a hot streak. He's playing hot. Been playing ever since what? I think beginning of top eight? Oh, yeah. Opened up top eight and he's going to close it out, too. One. Jumping right into it with game two. Nice anti-air confirmed. Hits him into that corner. Continues that combo. Really nice conversion. Knocking right down. Trying to catch the back roll there. No grabs, though. Masenga for the side switch. Beautiful play Go Masenga. Bringing right up, but not confirming the combo. DGF finds himself back in the corner, but nice counter hit. Nice DP coming out from Barzad. Pressure time. Nice throw attack. Big butt. Oh, he's just walking. It. He's just walking him down. Are we, are just we standing there thing? menacingly. Oh no! Oh no! This could be death. This is a pretty oh, good start for Terry. No, 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 no. Hundred meter. That's meter. death. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye, bro. meter. Tell him how it is, bruh. Tell him how it is. Tell him he ain't nothing. Ah. Ooh, okay, oh, went for four D round start trying to call the five B. Really Barza. good. Right, Look some shit in your face, trying to put some tough with some pressure. I want to see more Ragnar block strings coming out from uh, Barzad here. He's been doing, a, he's been trying to go for a lot of mix, but DGF is recognizing the setups that are fake and the setups that are real, you know, and calling them out on it. That combined with proper neutral and proper combos is not just not letting Barzad be consistent in his damage. Nice block though, nice DP, wow. Definitely was spaced out a little bit too far to hit that. Okay. Slowly pushing his way in, hitting him into the corner, but not getting that grab. Nice whip punish from the Nightmare Edge. Beautiful. OD on wake up, try to DP, RCO air dash, here we go. Pressure. Oh, just too far out. And that is going to be the game. That looks like uh, it. Uh, 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 You're going to build a meter uh, in time uh, for an Astral? Uh, astral yep, finish. there it is. Uh, uh. How's it feel, son? How's it feel? DGF up 2-0 in grand. I am the one true Susano. Yeah. Die. Ah. 
163 hits. I love that Astro. That Astro something else. All right, Barzal's got to think of something quick here. If yeah. he wants to run this back, he has to go through what? I think eight straight games? Maybe nine? I think so. Yeah, I forgot the exact math, but there's no room for error now. That's all you need to know. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Okay. Action. And oh, run up six that eight. was okay. That was, that was something else. Himself. He's playing like he knows he's gonna win. He is. He is. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm still. I'm still in shock from that one. That was. That was a wild option. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, nice crush trigger. Gonna get a small little combo off that, but keeping him in the corner. Good counter hit. Forces TGF to use his burst. Hits him out. Oh, and side switch. Oh, but the whiff on the on the six B, not doing DGF any favors there. Uh, Barzad really fighting his way out. Trying to go for raw overhead into IED mix. There's no avail. DGF's seen overheads. it all before, man. He's familiar with your game. However, he is sitting on a good life lead right now. Ah, there we go. There we go. That's what you want to see. That's good a job. Barzad really starting to bring this back. Yep, winning the resource war too. Beautiful. Yeah. So it's burst and everything. Pop the jump out with 5B. A big counter hit letting him approach, letting him push Barzad in. Ooh. Oh, the tech on the no, entire man. grab. How does he know? Trying to go over. Ah, oh, look at that. What a clash. Moving players moving yeah, about. Using both. Yeah, all of their movement options available. Nice block of bars out here. Oh, no. Getting Got that meter back. Out of able to really get a lot of his tools going. Yep. But will he be able to open up bars up? Nice crush sugar, but to no avail, you know. You got to save that for the corner when you actually get to confirm off it. No counter hit means that the Grand Snake will not connect. Jumping right That's in. Oh, it's a command grab. Beautiful. Get that really good meter off that. Right. Slow startup, hit. but... Man, it's a really good option, especially if you're overloading the opponent's mental The back throw incident. Oh, oh my, my god. Goodness. I can't believe you just did that on wake up. Going right into that really big combo. Getting some of that life back. And Terry me sitting a full meter too. Ooh, what's he trying to do here? The one hit confirming the Masenga. All right. That Masenga. Barza on a tournament life. It's do or die. Can Barza do this? Or can DGF seal it out? Oh. What does the crowd think? What does the crowd think? If you want DGF to win, make some noise! If you want Barzan to make a comeback, make some noise, y'all! There we go! Going right in. That was a really nice counter hit 5A. Going right into the combo. Jeremy's got really, really strong corner uh, corner presence. Uh, oh! Going right oh. into the overdrive, and that's it! That could be that it! That is it! Active blow on deck! Gonna seal the deal. Give me the meter too. I'm robbing you. I'm taking everything. Give me your phone. How is this you. for a cannon event? Yep. Ah ah. And that's DGF it. Wins Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Congratulations, CEO. Mr. Snake Man himself. Let's go. Yo, speaking of cannon events, yo, what the heck? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bro, in the wrong dimension. <laughs> oh, oh man. Wow. <laughs> What a grand finals. Man, that was really something else. Yeah, that was good. That was good Blaze Blue, man. That was good Blaze Blue. Man, that was some next level Blaze Blue. True. This game at high level just continues to evolve and never disappoint. It's crazy. It's crazy. There, there are not too many games out there where I'm like, oh, man, defense is so interesting. This is one of them. This is the game where if, you, if, if you're a more defense-oriented player or even more offense-oriented player, this is the game where you can really, like, explore both avenues to hell and high water, man. There's just so much. Just blocking one, two, eight from any of the character on the roster will have you in, like, such a vortex of options, you know, mental state, mental stack, trying but, to read out players. And none of it is too much to handle. Mm -hmm. Just with the perfect balance of mechanics, you have so yeah. much that you can do and so much that you can do against that. Yeah, man. It really, really helps out. Yeah, people, people say like CF is such a hard game to get into. I saw, I saw a lot of this when the Royal Rollback came. I was like, oh, I want to play CF, but it seems so hard. Like there's so many things I gotta learn. 
I, I'm telling you, man, if, if you're in the chat and you're interested in CF, if you're in a crowd you're at, interested in CF, take it just one step at a time. It all comes naturally. I'm not kidding you when I say the characters and uh, system mechanics of the team, they all come together into one beautiful package, and now it's put on full display in that grand, man. Definitely. Now it's put on full display. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think we're going to be signing off. Yep. Thank you, everyone, for coming through to the Blaze Blue Top 8 today. Yep. Uh, up next, we have Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Yep. Played on Cavs, too, which is amazing oh, yeah. to me. Like, I've never, I've never seen that. <laughs> All right. But uh, you, got, you got anyone you want to shout out, KTD? Uh, just shout out to the Central Florida uh, Blaze Blue scene. Mm -hmm. They're, they're all really great people. If you're in the Central Florida area, come by to events. Yep. But support your locals, support your TOs. As for me, um, I'm going to shout out, you know, my boys at Worcester State University in the crowd right now. Got a rep, got a rep. Yeah, make some noise, y'all. Make some noise. Uh, also, just shout out to the general CF scene. Like, uh, there are so many people I've met through this game, man. So many friends I've made, so many relationships, so many amazing rivalries, so many games, so many great games we had, man. So many great games. And finally, just shout out to CEO, shout out to production in the back, shout out to the TOs. Shout out to the Bailey Frank and everything possible. Thank you for accepting my request, my personal request to host BBCF here. I'm glad we got the amazing turnout we did. I'm glad we got the amazing top eight we did. And like from the bottom of my heart, if you watched, played, uh, did anything to engage with CF today, thank you so much. Just thank you, man. I can't. Like, I did not expect this to get this far. When I put it in my little Google form, somebody was like, you know, I'll just do it. I'll just see where we go. And now look where we are, man. Now look where we are. Blaze Moves alive and well. Uh, I'm hoping y'all had a fun time. If y'all want more Blaze Blue on such a big scale like this, Chick Zombo will be running a, a Blaze Blue side bracket at Evo this year. Just about what? Two months away now? I think so. Yep. About six weeks? Yeah, about six weeks. About six weeks still. But that'll be all for me. I'm your local mid level protagonist player, Aradat. KTD, thank you for commentating with me, man. Thank, thank you for commentating you. with me. All right. I appreciate it. But that'll be all, y'all. We're that'll signing out.